Some Nintendo users end up seeing the error code 0140062, an error has occurred, when performing a system transfer. This issue is reported to occur on Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS XL, Nintendo 2DS XL, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS XL, and Nintendo 2DS. Here's a list of verified fixes that other Nintendo users have successfully used to get to the bottom of this issue. Method 1. Put both devices in close proximity to the router. Move both devices as close to your home router as possible before re-initiating the system transfer operation. Nintendo's transfer protocol is extremely picky with transfer speed fluctuations, so bringing your devices as close as possible to your router should eliminate the 014-0062 error in most cases. Note, most users that successfully managed to complete the system transfer operation were not able to do it on their first try. Repeat the process multiple times before giving up on this method. There are also a series of precautions you can take when initiating this operation to improve your chance of success. Start by plugging in both devices via their power cables and move them beside each other. When you see the wanting to receive pop up on the new device, decline and return back to the first menu. Next, move over to the old device and start the transfer process there first. Click through the prompts, then log in with your Nintendo account and get to the point where the setup looks for a device to send the system transfer. Move over to your new device, the one that is looking to receive the file transfer, and accept the transfer process. Wait until the operation is complete. If you've tried this operation multiple times only to see it fail with the same 014-0062, move to the next method. Method 2, Power Cycle or Resetting Your Router. Follow these steps to power cycle your router and modem. Unplug the modem and router from the power outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds. Plug the modem back into the power outlet first, wait 1 to 2 minutes, then it's time to power on the router. Wait for all panel lights on your cable modem to become green on before testing your internet connection. If the power cycle procedure doesn't work for you, resetting your currently saved router settings will revert the device to the factory state in addition to clearing the cache data. If you understand the consequences of a reset, you can initiate a router reset by finding the reset button, typically located on the rear of your router, pressing it, and keeping it pressed until you see all the front LEDs flashing at the same time.